drugs, that's not how this goes See them on the scale, cause I'm on their toes And I'm gonna take their dough But they don't know, what I was man no Watch the story unfold, every lyric I wrote Trust, they be quotes, I want my platinum and gold I'm out for my I've notes I've been grinding, most of these man be jealous And then figure sliding, lying They just don't like the way I got perfect timing on rap. How you doing you bastards? So basically I need to pick up a brand new car and I've not told anyone what it is yet. I've wanted this car for about, you know, I've always wanted this car since I was Yeah, here we come. Wow. Uh, this is the first time I've seen it. It's the first time I've seen it, real. I've seen a video on it, a picture on it. It's nice. So, I should have really filmed this way when actually collecting the car, but uh, my phone died. We're going to pretend that this is after I've collected the car, even though I'm in different clothes and it's a different day, and my hair's probably uh, grown back. But yeah, we're in the bloody Bentley Bentayga now. Um, yeah, one second. I want to put my foot down, but I'm in like really small roads. Alright, are you ready to go? Alright, I'm putting the sports mode now. I'm really scared. Where we go? So, it's actually a really nice car. It's so nice to drive. Um, it's a bit big though. It's very, very big. Um, and I've probably used to driving big cars, uh, considering of the um, of the G-Wagon. But yeah, this is... Um, this is a big, 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 big car. And for some reason, birds like to crap on it. And it just gets really dirty fast. I don't know why. Yeah. I've, I've really got no idea why. Things I guess you gotta, you gotta put up with, with, with without a bloody Bendega. It, it drives really nice. Like, the power on it is unreal. It's like, probably not as powerful as the, uh, as my Continental. Definitely 100 times more powerful than, than the G-Wagon But the G-Wagon was a um, was a smaller engine This is like a uh, 6 litre W12 But I said, it is a big car It is a very very big car So like, I'm still a bit cautious driving it And uh, and you know what? Actually better than doing these filming shots now Rather than when I, when I first got to the car Because at least now I'm a bit more comfortable with uh, the car uh, There's some twat right behind me here uh, Just right at my tail I've got, I've got dash cams in the car, so I'm going to try and put him in it. Yeah, so uh, people, I am now officially a car YouTuber. This is probably one of the only car videos I ever do. But for today, yeah, this is, um, this is Packamize. That's a good name, Packamize. At the front? Yeah, yeah. So, like, I'm on this country-ish kind of road, yeah. I don't want to, like, put my foot down anywhere because I don't want to, like, run over, like, Goat or something like that. Um, yeah, it's good for that. Yeah, as I said, it is a powerful car, and the inside of it is sick. It feels like you're in the VIP area of the cinema. You're in the VIP seats. That's what it feels like. Uh, if you're one of them twats who pay thirty pound more for a VIP seat, then as I've said, you're a twat. I pay for VIP seats. No, mate, you're a twat. You should just pay for normal seats and then jump to the VIP seat. Oh, and this is shit. Hey, wanna fight? Bear! See, I see this, he's, he's going up to me, he's, he's looking at me like, what, what do you want? <laughs> Look at this sheep, he's, he's, he's eating the tree! He also gets VIP seats. Yeah, he does. He gets VIP sheep seats. That was right. close. Alright, you see how big this car is, yeah? I can't even, I've got to like, reverse now, and then get in. Like, usually it's just an easy, it's, 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 it's like an easy kind of like, a one thing thing. Now I've got to... It's a big car. It is big a car big for a big guy. Yeah. It's a big pack. Alright everybody, it is your boy Supercar Packy over here. Uh, yeah, what do we think of that name? Yeah, boys and girls, it is Supercar Park over here in my brand new whip. 
A bloody Bentley bastard auger. The sound of that, sound of that bad boy. Oh, Sounds like last night's curry, mate. That's, that's what it is. That's what it is. It does sound like last night's curry. That that does not go ten miles. The car went down a bit. Oh, the sound. No, no, it's down a little bit when you did that. Oh, what? Well, let me try again. There's some sports mode now. Put it on the other mode. No, no. I think it's because I just changed the gear. So it's in Bentley mode now. Yeah, it goes up. Oh. Oh wow, it's going up. Oh wow. What's that? Let me put a mode. Yeah, it goes oh, down. Yeah, it does go down. So it goes down closer to the, the road, like a sports car. Oh wow. There you go. You f learn something new every day. Yeah, there we go. It's locked down ten miles as well. All right, cool. Let me, let me put, put the down now. We're in sports mode. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it does. Definitely does. You know what, yeah? Try and get it so you can see it going up and down. I'll try. What would probably the wheels, isn't it? Yeah, you can see it. Do it once more. It was still going actually. Go down first. But I can definitely see it, whether or not it's showing on camera, I don't know. First of all, yeah, first, you know what, yeah? This is me, yeah, this is the big pack of it here. We've got carpet in here. We've got carpet, yeah. We've got these little buttons, look. Look at these little buttons here, yeah. you push that, yeah, the AC comes off, comes in, in, out, in, out, shake it all about. Then the sunroof, panorama sunroof, in, you know, panorama and BBC One. That's how we do it, and then there's B, yeah. This B don't sound for Bentley, yeah. It sounds for bastard. I'm saying. Alright, one thing I don't like about this car is things like this. It feels a bit cheap. It's plastic. As in, this is a, this is a bloody Bentley. You know, you know what I mean? Uh, in, in my other Bentley, it feels uh, everything's like all metal. Here, there's there's a lot of plastic. Even these parts here are now plastic. I think in my other Bentley, they're metal as well. Um, but they look nice. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. No, they they uh, they do look sick. They do look sick. It's in the back seat, yeah. There is plenty of room here to uh, store a dead body or two. But again, yeah, in the back, yeah, they look, they look cheap, as in, like, you wouldn't expect to see that on a Bentley. It's a bit like a trim or something around there. Yeah, thing, yeah, yeah, no, no. I believe you expect it, like, to be in metal or something like that. But there are some cool parts. There's this uh, tablet thing over there. If I turn the car on, it'll come off. It'll come out. So you press that. It's coming out, it's coming out. And then you got this green thing here. Then you can, like, control... I don't know what, I, 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 I'm never in the back of this, I, I don't know what it does. But I think it's like the heating, like, I think you see the sat nav and stuff like that. Drinks holders, ass. Drinks holders, that, there we go lads, we all winning, we all winning. Balling. If you're in the back of this car, yeah, you are a full on baller. All my guys are ballers, alright? To the boot. You know how they say boot in, well in Pakistan? What? Dicky. 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 <laughs> That's what they call it. Yeah. So, it's supposed to like, you put your foot in and then the boot opens, but I think I've got to have the key or something to, to be able to do that. Uh, but I haven't got the key, the key's inside the car. But the reviews were pretty bad on that, weren't they? Yeah, yeah, they were. Oh my god! Oh! <laughs> um, yeah, the boot's pretty big. Massive. Let me get in the back of it. Suspension kicking in there. Put your dead body in there. Close the boot. It's in about a minute. Yeah, that's enough for that. See you later, mate. <laughs> no, 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 please. See you later. <laughs> you know what I want to hear? You know what I want to hear? No, 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 you know what we have to say? No, no, what do you want to eat? And what are you? And what do you want to do? And once more from the inside, what are you and what do you want to eat? I'm a packy, I don't want a chapati. All right, I'll let you out tomorrow. I will let him out. I don't know how to open this expensive thing, mate. <laughs> oh, dear. Look at that mountain. It's your boy, Supercar Packy. 
You know what I'm saying? That's what did Jeremy in. Yeah, yeah. This, <laughs> this is what this is what peak Drizzy Jeremy. This is this is this is what has come to the the, the Peter of Drizzy Jeremy. He's now he's now sleeping in the uh, in the back of the Bentley Bendiga, just uh, like a mountain. Not much space here. There isn't much space, is there? Not what? if you're fluid. No, but you've got a lot of space. So if you kill someone yet, yeah, make sure that they're in an empty stomach. You haven't have got a lot of space here. Well, there'll be a win, and that's it. Yeah, yeah, for a dead boy. But you have got a lot of space here. You... Uh, argument with the wife. A loads of space. Yeah, you, you could actually potentially sleep here. You take this off, isn't it? Yeah, you take that off. Put the seats Put down. Put the seats down. You've got... Sunroof open. Yeah, you've generally got... Mojito. A lot of space. No alcohol. Right. I've taken it in the boot, in the back end and the front. Let me take you to the around the car. Around the car. Can we pop the hood? Pop the hood. Might be nice under there. Yeah, maybe. Yeah, let me show you a few of the parts of the car. So the car itself is like a uh, cold, brilliant, or excellent silver. And it kind of changes from that like, silver to gold. But a cool part about the car is like, even if it's like close it a little bit, and like, and, like soft closes. Yeah. Gentle close. Yeah. So if you close ever so slightly, yeah, it locks. You know, I mean, it closes itself. With the G wagon, you gotta you gotta slam it. And also to lock it, like you can just press the finger thing there. I'm not gonna do it because obviously I need to get back in the car. Uh, you got your keys on you? No, it's inside. So one thing I don't like about this car, another thing I don't like about this car, is is this. Obviously, this here is the Bentley thing, yeah. But this here is plastic. That's plastic. It's hot as well. It's very hot. But yeah, that's plastic. Like, I would expect Bentley to, like, at least have that in metal. Like, in my Continental, that is metal. And this is a more expensive car than the Continental. Yeah, like, the black parts, okay, fair enough, yeah. It's a black parts, you know what I'm saying? But this part, it should be metal. I don't know why it's not. Over from, like, the few little hiccups and all that, yeah, it's generally, like, a really nice car. back here to, to finish this debut car video you know what i'm saying that's that's what i am now yeah i've gone from being a parody artist to a diss track mastermind everything else in the middle to a car youtuber that that is what we've come here forget forget all these other geezers yeah forget no vlogs yeah forget the animals yeah forgot forget buddy car woo and all that stuff yeah this is me now jokes aside yeah this is my new car yeah it's bentley been taken it's an unreal car i have all the cars i've got and had the i8, the Continental, the G-Wagon, this by far. It is definitely my favorite, it is uh, probably my favorite. Uh, it drives amazing. Only negatives about it, some parts are quite cheap for what it is. It's very big, but I wouldn't say the bigness is a, is a huge negative. Some people like it, some people don't. Just in comparison to the G-Wagon, for example, it is a lot, a lot more bigger than the G-Wagon. Yeah, that was deceptive. Yeah, yeah, it the looked G-Wagon. Big, but it wasn't. Yeah, yeah, the G-Wagon is probably like, same size as the i8 i think a wideness or yeah smaller. with well i found i had less arm room in the front of the g-wagon than i do in the i8 yeah no no, no. i meant like um, from the outside of how wide it is. yeah look uh, i don't know it certainly feels less yeah, yeah. wide as in like you think that it's the same size as this from the outside yeah but it's not but, like when you're driving it it's a lot smaller and you know what i would give the g-wagon praise for that you know i would give the g-wagon praise for that if maneuver easier for slash not easier to drive than this as in the g-wagons are it's a lot heavier than this um, it's also a lot more tiring, but yeah, people, I see a bash hidden a bit. 